Good day and hello and welcome to my Patreon's account. This is where I will be putting up some of my vlogs that uh, well I don't know if I'd really get much interest on YouTube so um, I'm actually building the Patreon's account up with certain vlogs, videos so I can actually give you guys who are good enough to become my patrons value for your pounds so to speak. Now when I arrived here in Malacca just a few days ago at the main bus station uh, I saw this place from the road which it instantly caught my eye. Uh, obviously the, I love the old fairgrounds uh, back from when I was a child and you guys know that I love my vintage stuff, my collecting stuff and also I've got lots of mates who like this stuff as well. So when I saw this place, I, I think it's for children obviously but it opens of an evening uh, there's some guys over there in the dodgems that I just now went in uh, and asked if I could come round and film and they said it was okay so uh, here I am just walking around just looking at this old, old, old proper fairground stuff and this is what really caught my eye because this stuff like I say it all goes what what you know this stuff these horses as you can see from all the old original artwork uh, this is from the 60s or maybe even the 50s uh, and then onwards and that's probably one of the uh, uh, what was it with the horses some are old some are new you can tell these ones have been added these are pretty new but when you see the horse head like that they're all the really old vintage type horses that we use. They've got different types of heads from the fairground attractions from whatever decade they came from. So there, there's some original stuff and some old uh, newer stuff put on there, you know. Um, but it's really good to see. Uh, as are the old look, original Dodgems. They might be quite the kind of 80s versions, but on the old uh, uh, track there where they're all all electrocuted to the roof uh, it's just really good to see you know um, so it's chuffed I'm really happy the guys let me in there to film because it's not really open <laughs> they're doing quite a bit of work on it as I saw the other day but it's just seeing all these old little old merry-go-round attractions oh man and this one in particular which is a classic it's free token, no one went ever. They open at eight o'clock, I think he says. Close during the day. They are re refurbishing the place, but they open at eight. I mean, this is a classic. I think you, now these are the ones you just sit in. That one's got a cannon on it. Some of these are usually got little controls so you can control whether they go up and down. But this one is just one that you sit in and uh, you're at the mercy of whoever's controlling it. Well, that'd be pretty cool. And there's the, there is the old control box, look, just here. The guy will sit in there, he'll be controlling that manually from there. It is, it's just wicked, it's just a proper old fairground attractions from back in the day. And oh man, look, you've got a little monorail going up and around here. With all this old scaffold, it's basically scaffolding. Let's put this together. Nothing like the, um, the, the new stuff or the monorails or what you'll see today at the great big roller coaster places or fairgrounds. This is proper old school. And this as well, look, proper caged animals in there on your merry-go-round. That, that would be one of your first kind of well, ferris wheels. Uh, that, which is cool. This obviously for the kids. I don't gonna let me on there, but you can see how it's all been built out of all welded steel, which obviously gives its age away, you know. They're all cool. There's some newer attractions, but it's, it's the older ones, isn't it? I love the old ticket booths, look. That's made out of an old shipping container. You have a sweat box sitting in there. But yeah, th this here is a little roller coaster you'd get on. And like I say, you'd go round, pull you up there. <laughs> That'd be plenty good enough for me, and then come round. That's really cool. Really cool. And th these are kind of newer type rides. That have obviously been introduced and especially this one i don't know if it's a newer type ride on an oh no it is it's a it's fairly new from the cars film i think i think it's called cars so just i'm um, just nice that i've got somewhere to have a little walk around and give you an introduction to my pay paypal <laughs> oh what a joke that is i mean i am having problems guys issues there look roller coaster that proper old 
Oh, mate, that's it's an old tin. That's an old tin plate sign. Look, that's been been painted over. Not enamel, just paint, unfortunately. If that had enamel, if that was huge wall enamel, that, that'd be worth a lot of money. And that, that really would. Proper collector's piece. But here you can, <laughs> uh, what is it? We ain't got goldfish, have we? No, it is like, uh, you probably have to throw ping pong balls to get them to sit, or rings. Uh, you got little rings to try and get round the, the coke tins, or uh, whatever, that are raised up to try and win your prize. It's all good, all very good. Ah oh, man, there's a ghost house. Ah <laughs> oh, man, how cool. How cool, this is um, with the old speakers. It'll be a ghost house or a ghost train. <laughs> oh, it's all dark, look, with blood everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, just an introduce, introduction to my Patreon account to welcome you all. I haven't quite fathomed out how I put my videos on Patreon into files. It's, it's what has been holding up me releasing my Patreon because I want to put them all in little fol folders so you can um, literally click on what you like. I've got my old Vespa Vietnam stuff from 2011 on there. Missing part four, it's been pulled due to major copyright infringements. But the, the, there is this stuff on there that I'll keep putting on of interest. And, and I am gonna make, there are vlogs that I haven't, that I have made that I haven't put on YouTube, or oh, I've kept them private because of something or other for one reason uh, or another. So that is what it's for from a Patreon. So I want other stuff on the Patreon that is not on my YouTube channel. So, you know, I'm just, you know what I'm like, I hate the begging. I don't like begging or anything like that. I love to give value for money uh, and stuff like that. But the reason I'm here today, um, I didn't actually travel here. I actually traveled to the row of shops that are right over there. Because I haven't got any computer software. After my computer crashed, it's taken me quite some time to get that up and working properly and I've lost all my video editing software. Oh man, there's more of this stuff, look. There's more and more and more of all these types of games. More old tin plate signs. Oh man, they should have enameled them. They would have worn better. But all these attractions. And I said, this place opens at eight. So I may actually come back and do a full, well, I don't know. <laughs> The thing of it with me guys is are I change like the wind because situ changes like the wind. You know, I could get an idea in my head. Like a few a few days ago, I was gonna jump on a bus to Singapore, and then from Singapore I was gonna jump on a ferry to Indonesia. That is what I wanted to do. And until I found out immigration is shut at the weekends. So I put I put in my uh, immigration forms to Indonesia. And even today, they still haven't got back to me. So I'm, um, <laughs> I decided, I thought, you know what? The weather here ain't too bad. The people are absolutely fantastic. I, I, I can't, like I say, every vlog I make, everywhere I go, the people are just superb. Oh man, look, look at this. I just really like walking around here. For me, this is just pure eye candy. Man, all the old generator rooms. Um, it just takes me back to like being a kid. And like I said, when we were kids at Great Yarmouth and places like that, things like this, it lived with us, obviously, for a long time. And I love all this old gear. It's just really good to see the old stuff, little bits of new uh, and all sorts, you know. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. It's just a thanks to the guys there. So, um, oh man, I forgot where I was now. I was running on, wasn't I? I do like to run on. So, my laptop today, Monday, is in a shop over the road and they're going to be putting my pinnacle studio 25 ultimate on there um, and i've tried to download other programs i just don't get on with them i really don't i like to keep things as simple as possible um, just like me keep it simple life is simple if you're simple i don't mind being simple um, so that hopefully they're going to give me a call left my laptop in as a private place I did, uh, I've been to loads of computer shops around town and I got the word, no, there's, there's the shops all over there and you can see this flyover, excuse me, that I now walked across and then right across over the back here is the central bus station, which I'm going to be using in a few days because I have actually decided that I will now be traveling all around Malaysia. 
it, it'd be rude not to. I wanted to get on. I was, uh, you know, I, was, I wanted to get on, get to Indonesia and make the vlogs that, are, uh, that I've researched and that I want to do and to cover a little bit about the history, a lot about the history uh, and stuff that I believe would give my YouTube channel a really big boost. But it's just going to have to wait. Um, it will. <laughs> so my priority today is getting that sequencer program up and active on my laptop so I can start uh, building up, making up the films that I've made. I've took all the clips, I've got about 10 vlogs all in clip form and, and I need to put them in a sequence to patch them all together to make a short video. And that's what that uh, Pinnacle Studio 25, that's what that does. I just take the clips, bang that, then that, then that, save it, <laughs> and, I, uh, and then hit the make video. It takes two hours and then hey presto, it's done. So hopefully I'll be able to get on that today. And that's so. Hope you like my little walk and talk. Introduction to Patreon. Today is the 25th and I'll tell you what, what I'm, uh, <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a little introductory vlog today because I can make videos, right? As long as I don't, there's no pause button on these, which is a real shame because if there was, I wouldn't need any sequence software. I can just keep them really raw in one take, one run, make things really simple for me. Um, I can make vlogs like that, but they, they may tend to be a bit dull. That's why I tend to stop and then restart to keep things keep things active as much as I can. So a pause button on here would be really good. So if you're listening to GoPro, you might want to consider that. For vloggers like me, who like to keep things as raw as possible. <sighs> so, thanks for tuning in. And until next time, I hope you have a really good day and au revoir. <laughs>